Good day everyone, Granite Tour here again for another Rome 2 Domination Tournament Battle. Today we've got uh, TWA Bobby versus uh, AVA TJF Plox and Nervi versus Alverni. And uh, Bobby sent me this replay saying he uh, thinks this is the, the, the best build for Nervi and the best way it was used in this battle. It all went together well for him, so we'll have a look and uh, see exactly how he used this build. I'll read it out to you. He's got the four Ace Sworn, two on the left, the General, the normal Ace Sworn, two on the right. Then he's got the at the back. He's got the Mercenary Germanic Scout Riders, two of them, and uh, Celtic Warriors, three of them, and Levy Freeman, three of them. He's uh, Celtic Slingers, three of them. And then out the front he's got the Mighty Horse. So he's got four of them. And for uh, TJ, he's got uh, on the right flank the Heavy Horse, Levy Freeman, Spear Warriors, Chosen Swordsman, and the Oswarn. And uh, in the middle he's got the Celtic Slingers, three of them. Then he's got the Chosen Swords, Heavy Horse, Oswarn, another Chosen, another Chosen, the Oswarn General, Levy Freeman, and uh, two more heavy horse. So I press play and get it underway. See so um sorry if I sound like a bit of a space cadet. It's been a long day at the office. Putting the um a roof on in hot summer in Australia, so I'm a bit uh, spaced out at the moment. But uh, I'll do my best to get through this battle without stuffing up too much. <laughs> So, yep, Bobby um, has chosen to get his flanks very heavy with the Ace Sworn and uh, keeping these mighty horse for a nice little charge through the middle, I'd say. And uh, TJ sees that and he tries to get his cav around the front there. He's, he's got one there anyway to protect the front. Oh, pardon me, a bit of a burp. And he uh, can see it coming. So whoever uh, initialises here, I'd say it's going to be with Cav first off. So we've got um, Bobby just peeling off to the left and right here. It's an interesting kind of move, but yeah, the Cav's first. So we've got the heavy horse into the mighty horse. Very similar kind of unit, so we'll see how that goes. I'll uh, bring the stats panel up for you. So, the Mighty Horse do have a bit more melee attack. But, um, yeah, the Heavy Horse have more melee defense, so it's a, one of them ones that'll even out quite well. So, you can see out here we've got the uh, Mighty Horse Levy Freeman. If this Levy Freeman attacks now, it can get its javelins off, which will do some damage onto the Mighty Horse. Levy Freeman in the here, he's going to lose that quite quickly. So the Mighty Horse, disrupt the Ace Sworn. If I uh, got 20 kills, that's a bit of a sacrifice, but here we go. Ooh, the Levy Freeman did not get their javelin off in time and lost a lot of men in that charge. But it's backed up well with the Heavy Horse by TJ. You can see uh, TJ getting the better of these engagements so far. That, that, uh, Mighty Horse has still only got 20 kills, so didn't do too much damage to the Oswarn. But now the Oswarn are dropping because um, the Oswarn General here got a good charge on him. So he's got the uh, Head Hunt, Battle Rhythm, and Shield Wall pressed on his General. And the Chosen Swordsman on the Oswarn, that'll never go good. Chosen Swordsman on the Celtic Warriors, that might go good. So. But this uh, heavy horse, uh, the mighty horse out here, only got 40 kills, and it's nullified by the Levy Freemans and the uh, heavy horse there. So TJ going okay if he brings this Ace Sworn in for a rear charge, which it uh, looks like he's going to. He's pulling off some good moves here. So the Ace Sworn gets into this general. It's uh, all over Rover, which it looks like it's going to. Some good rear charge there. 
Good move by TJ. So TJ is a bit stale at the game. He hasn't been playing for too long. He's a bit rusty. So this micro might be a down a bit in this battle. He's only been having a few games here and there at the moment. He's been busy. So uh, as Bobby has been playing a fair bit. And Averni are never the strongest faction to bring these days. So that O'Sworn's going down, but so is the General. A bit of an even trade off there. The Mighty Horse get into the Celtic Slingers, which is pretty good. And the Celtic Warriors, Chosen Swordsman. But the O'Sworn's coming into the side there. You might get a good javelin off with these uh, Spear Warriors. But that's about all they'll friggin' do. <laughs> So he does get a good javelin shot off and a bit of a rear charge in. So TJ being conservative with his general, which is always a good idea in battles like this. Uh, heavy horse going through, getting a good shot onto the slingers there and scrapping them down a bit. So um, TJ... Has the battle rhythm and second wind as well on his general, does he? I know he's got the verse and getrick skills, I think. Yeah. Verse and getrick skills, so um, yeah, he'll definitely wants to keep his general alive there. He hits one of them now, which is rel relentless, so that's good. Gives the uh, Ace Warren and everything a bit more attack. And gets the whole army as well. This, uh, Relentless skill is best for 2v2 because it does get your um, your partner's army as well. So it covers about oh, three quarters of the battlefield, maybe half, when it's released. So so he's gone to Relentless, then he's gone to Headhunt on his general. Is a good skill when used about this time as well. So all in all, it's looking like a good battle. It looks like uh, Bobby's up against it here a bit. Yeah, and the heavy horse come in for the back rear charge. Very good battle by TJ. He's going well. So, and uh, Bobby's going well as, as well. He's got some troops over here. Celtic Warrior, another Oswan. And then he's got his skirmish as well, which is going to be handy. And TJ's got one skirmish in the back, but I think he can't see that at the moment. You've got the Levy Freeman coming in. Celtic Warriors, Levy Freeman, getting charged by the Chosen Swordsmen, which have done well in this battle, 92 kills on them. This Ace Warren's got the uh, Headhunt and the Shield Ball, and the Ace Warren General is going down now. The, um, this Ace Warren's uh, giving it a nice little crack, and he does do a good rear charge here with Levy Freeman, gets the Javelins off, but that's about all they're going to do there. So it's turning around again. And it looks like Nervi has got the best of this battle so far. But I think TJ has put up a good good little fight here. He's done well for someone who uh, hasn't played for a while. and He had a few good moments there where he, where he micro well. But 90, bloody Oceworn, wavering and gone at 90. Shit, that's bloody bullshit. How does that work when these heavy horses are fucking sitting here? I don't bloody... Yeah, sometimes the morale in this is a bit weird. You know, General died and all, but they're oath sworn. Shit, they've got 71 morale, you know? And look at the heavy horse with 58 morale. I'm still in. Now, why does that go? I understand it was getting shot and whatnot, but it still should last longer than the heavy horse because the heavy horse is getting shot as well. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure. You know, I hate how that, you know, 90 bloody oath sworn, they could have sat there for a little bit longer and done something. TJ's done well with this cab here. It's got 192 kills, about to get 200, and still uh, going well. But Bobby's done well to bring it back. It looked like um, the Verney army was going to uh, pull off an upset there. It's an excellent battle by both of them. I think um, Bobby did get the best engagements. But, yeah, like I said, for um, TJ, who has, is a bit rusty at the game, he's he done very well in this battle. His cav, done excellent. This one here, you know, done very outstanding. Done a very good job. And uh, for Bobby, his ace spawn all come through, except for the general. It got lost a bit early, which is lucky for him that he's um, had these ace spawn with good morale that come back and, and won the day for him. 
So very good battle, and thank you very much for watching. And uh, leave a like if you like these tournament battles. And uh, if you're new to my channel, um, I'd be happy if you subscribed. And if you want to see more good battles, All right? See you later. This is the the, the best build for Nervi and the best way it was used in this battle. It all went together well for him. So we'll have a look and. Uh, See exactly how he used this build. I'll read it out to you. He's got the four Ace and Levy Freeman, three of them. He's uh, Celtic Slingers, three of them. And then out the front, he's got the Mighty Horse. So he's got four of them. And for uh, TJ, he's got uh, on the right flank the Heavy Horse, Levy Freeman. We've got uh, TWA Bobby versus uh, AVA TJF Plox. And Nervi versus Alverni. And uh, Bobby sent me this replay saying he uh, thinks sworn two on the left, the general, the normal have sworn two on the right. Then he's got the out the back, he's got the mercenary Germanic scout riders, two of them, and uh, Celtic warriors, three of them. G'day everyone, Granitor here again for another Rome 2 Domination Tournament Battle. Today we're